What's up guys, it's Abaya from the Sabaya Cartel. Welcome back to another episode of Hero vs. Villains Live. I was about to log off, but I decided I'm going to do something different for this episode of Hero vs. Villains Live. Usually on Hero vs. Villains Live episode, I just commentate and I just do the entire game. But this is actually just going to be a commentary. It's just going to be me um, talking to you guys about the biggest problems that Hero vs. Villains has. And not only, you know, what are the problems, but also how to fix these problems, okay? Because, of course, a dramatic person will tell you their problems and not do anything about it. But a strong person will always tell you their problems and do something about it. Let me actually finish off Luke right here. And let's talk about the first major problem in Hero vs. Villains. Lightsaber combat, it is not balanced, okay? Now, it sucks that I'm not Vader and I didn't get completely annihilated by Luke, but what do I mean by lightsaber combat not being balanced? Sometimes, and of course, this situation will always apply to Vader and Luke because both of them have a lightsaber. Let's say that you're playing as Luke Skywalker and then you get the first hit on Vader and you just keep hitting him with your lightsaber over and over and over again. Vader will not be able to fight back. In fact, in most cases, 90% of the time, you're not even going to be able to block uh, Luke's uh, lightsaber. The reason for this is, is because the lightsaber combat just isn't really balanced. Now, this is what I would recommend uh, for the lightsaber combat to be balanced. So instead of just making the lightsaber, um, you know, just stagger the enemy. So for example, Vader versus Luke again. Let's say that Luke keeps hitting Vader over and over again. And of course, you know, Vader can't really do anything. What I would like, because see, the thing is, when you're using Darth Vader, and you hit Han Solo, Han Solo can still shoot back most of the time. So what I would like is for the same tactic to be applied with Han I mean, with Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. So in other words, if Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker get in a lightsaber battle, both of their lightsabers will keep hitting each other. And the lightsabers, of course, will not stagger the opponent. Now, why is this a good thing? The reason why this is a good thing is because like that, the blocking technique is more you know useful and the blocking technique like that players are you know more motivated to learn the blocking technique because chances are that if you start hitting Darth Vader as Luke Skywalker from the back of your lightsaber you will pretty much finish Vader 9 out of 10 times because he cannot hit now if the lightsaber that Vader had could hit the you know the battle would be more interesting and of course you know uh, Luke or Vader could block the the saber all of that good stuff so yeah that's the one problem I mean, that's one major problem with Hero vs. Villains Live. And of course, now I'm going to talk about the other problem. In fact, Hero vs. Villains Live, I believe it only has two problems. Because the other problems, uh, it's not the game. It's just players being complete douchebags. Like, for example, people who always move around with Boba Fett. Or people that always jump around with Luke Skywalker running from every single thing. The other problem with Hero vs. Villains Live is... And I do believe, you know... EA or DICE, they can't really fix this, mainly because a lot, not a lot of people are playing Battlefront. But then again, when you do look at the sales numbers that Battlefront has done pretty much in 2015 alone, it kind of tells you that there are a lot of people playing this game. But of course, they're probably playing the popular game modes like Walker Assault and Supremacy. But, um, yeah, one change and, you know, one huge problem that Hero vs. Villains has is that sometimes people leave the lobby right after a match and pretty much the match starts out as 3 vs. 2. Or, you know, sometimes it's even 3 vs. 1. Obviously, you guys can see this in previous uh, episodes of Hero vs. Villains that I have posted. You know, I have been in an entire match and the entire match has been 3 vs. 1 or 3 vs. 2 because the matchmaking is just completely broken. I do understand that there's a new matchmaking patch, but after playing 3 or 4 games, I think it was like 4 games, but after playing 4 games with the new matchmaking uh, in effect, this is still an issue. Like, I do start games where it, instead of being 6v6, it's actually 6v4 or 6v3, as you guys saw in the previous episode, actually, where I showcased the... The new hero outfits for uh, what's this dude called for uh, Luke Skywalker and Han Solo. So of course I would recommend. I mean I'm no game developer, but look as you guys can see right there. You know it's five versus three people. Um, but yeah, mainly what EA and Dice have to do is listen, man. Just freaking add like a new matchmaking system. I don't know. Just add something 
that makes people join into hero versus villains games faster you know because it's a huge problem like the guys in the enemy team they stand no chance why because the matchmaking as in getting players into the match it's just terrible like it's pretty much hopeless but yeah guys those are my two you know main concerns with hero versus villains live those are the problems that i think hero versus villains live has i mean hero versus villains live those are the two main problems that I think Hero vs. Villains uh, has. I think the first problem, it can be fixed uh, because, you know, it's just a very, very, I guess you could say simple tweak, but, you know, game developing is harder than it looks. But yeah, the first problem, I know for sure it can be fixed, all right? All it's going to take is, you know, a little hard work um, for, uh, you know, EA and DICE to do. And of course, let's face it, EA and DICE, you guys haven't done shit with Battlefront. Uh, I'm talking about the campaign here. So that work that was supposed to put in the campaign, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys would put it into uh, the lightsaber combat between, of course, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. And, of course, the matchmaking problem that you guys are seeing in this match, you know, 5 versus 3. Uh, I do want freaking matchmaking, not just to be improved in Hero vs. Villains, but I do believe on every game mode. Like, I understand that now we can choose our regions, but matchmaking really does need to improve in... Star Wars Battlefront overall, as well as, you know, Hero vs. Villains. I would say Hero vs. Villains because this is my favorite game, but this is all I play. In fact, this is the only thing I play. Um, but yeah, guys, that's, up, that's pretty much it. You know, those are my thoughts on uh, Hero vs. Villains' biggest problems. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, I would have really, really appreciated it if you guys would drop the video a like. Subscribe to join the Sabahe Cartel. Do let me know what you guys think is wrong with Hero vs. Villains or Star Wars Battlefront overall in the comment section below. It, I would really, really appreciate that. It would, you know... Uh, start a very very good discussion um but yeah guys like i said hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'm actually i was going to i was going to end the episode but i think we're gonna win this round so you know why not why not let's throw this flashbang of a flying loop and i do think the flashbang is very it's being very very effective but of course i do need to try it out with a friend to see if it works all right guys peace out